morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 27th, and welcome back from your weekend. Uh, wow, it was hot this weekend, wasn't it? It sure was. And I'm sure it looked like a lot of people were on the beach and that. Hopefully you stayed home. I stayed home. I just stayed in the air, got the air conditioner running and, and stayed in a cool house and uh, tried to avoid uh, going to the beach as much as I wanted to so badly, but didn't quite make it there. So hopefully a couple more weeks. Um, though today we're going to start a new unit. So you're not going to have a uh, unit test for the 60s in Vietnam. So congratulations. I've just made a kind of executive decision that, you know what, it's too hard. We could probably do it on Jupiter and figure out some ways, but you know what? And, you know, I could make an open note and all that. It's just, forget it. We're not going to do it. So no unit tests for the rest of the year. So congratulations on that. But we are going to start a new unit. We're going to start the 70s. And uh, today we're going to start off with talking about President Nixon. And if you remember President Nixon, he ran for uh, president in 1960 and he lost to Kennedy by just a hair, just a small margin. Um, and in 1964, he ran for governor of California and he lost. And most people thought Nixon was done. They thought this guy's, you know, he can't win even win the governorship of his own state. He's done. Well, in 1968, he decided to run for the Republican nomination and he was nominated. And uh, he won election in 1968. And he was ready. He was ready to go as president. He had been waiting in his turn and he was ready. And the thing with Nixon is most people, when they think of Nixon, they think of Watergate and the political scandal. But Nixon was actually a pretty good president um, did a lot of good things, and you know, if Watergate wouldn't have come along, and his own paranoia, he might have, you know, gone down as a, a very good president. It's kind of like Johnson in some ways. Some ways. So you're going to start learning about President Nixon today. Uh, today you're going to learn about his domestic policies. What did he do domestically uh, to our for our country? Uh, he did some good things. Did some not so good things. And we had one of our worst uh, energy crises during his time as president. And how he dealt with that. He also was. Uh, dealing with Vietnam still. Vietnam's still going on and he has to make a decision. He's kind of ran this whole thing that he was he had a plan to get us out of Vietnam and uh, so he is his ideas uh, were to get us out of Vietnam and and, that, that, and be done with it and so um, so we'll start talking about some of those things over the next couple of days uh, before we get into what well, of course everybody wants to everybody knows about Nixon is Watergate and we'll definitely spend some time about that probably next week. All right, so that's the plan for today. What you're going to basically do is you're going to be uh, doing a PowerPoint slide, actually. I put together a PowerPoint on Nixon domestic policies, and you're going to be taking some notes, answering some questions on that on the PowerPoint slide. All the questions and answers are right there uh, for you to answer. should be no problem. It shouldn't take you that long, and then make sure you submit it. All right, and then on Wednesday, we'll go ahead and start talking about Nixon and his foreign policy, and this is where he makes a lot of big, big, amazing things happen as president. He's really known as a foreign foreign relations president more than a domestic president. So we'll talk about those on Wednesday. All right. So if you have any questions, you can email me on Wednesday. We'll do uh, we'll go Google, Google Meet going. So if you, have, if you want to come on and say hi, you can do that. But that will be on Wednesday. All right. But that's it. Have a great day. Stay cool. It's supposed to be warm again today. And uh, I will see you on Wednesday.